Good evening, morning. How you doing everyone? It's 25 past 12. Well, 25 past midnight. And I'm not tired. So I thought of a confession video. My confession is... I was the second gunman on the grassy knoll. If you get that movie reference, I love you. You're my favourite. You, you're my favourite if you know that movie. This is a confession video because a couple of months ago, I'm not sure if you know this or not, I might have told a few people, but I was approached by the university radio station to write a piece that they gave me a title saying, How I Winged My First Way Through... That wasn't a the title they gave me at all. How I Winged My First Way Through... The title they gave me was How I Winged My Way Through the First Year of Uni. <laughs> How I Winged My Way Through the First Year of University. And I got it, it's, it's, it's hard for me to express stuff in words. So when they asked me to write this down, the first thing that came to me was what I'm going to read to you. It's going to be word for word. It'll hopefully, unless I mess up like dramatically, be a straight shot of just me just reading what I wrote. It's a 400 piece uh, written piece that they asked me to do. So this is this is my confession. Winging it. A term I've used many times in the past. A term used in the title of my Facebook blog, Winging My Way Through Uni. Plug. <laughs> a term that has got me through 20 years on this planet. That was until I moved to London. The big city life is hard. The big city life is difficult. And to quote one of my course leaders from one of the first Welcome to University talks, you cannot wing your way through uni. At which point she looked at me and I wanted the floor to swallow me. I don't know if you could hear that, but my my flatmates just wandered in at half past midnight going, Ooh. I mean, it wasn't just the lectures I couldn't wing my way through. It was also meeting new people back in Cornwall. I was popular with most people. I was popular, funny, witty, and interesting. And ever so modest, of course. I'm, I'm the most modest man you'll meet. In London, I got scared. Every social skill I had developed was left at home, 250 miles away. I spent the majority of the first semester getting my bearings, trying to socialise with these strangers, and yes, occasionally trying to get lucky and waltz through lectures when life got too much outside of university. The second semester has been hard. It has literally pushed me to breaking point. Lectures got serious, 0 to 100 real quick, and it severely caught me off guard. This was written, it was last opened, on the 16th of March. It was written two months ago. It didn't get any easier at all. It was three weeks in when I realised this is it, the final stretch to sort my first year out. And I am. I've buckled down and organised what I need for when I need it. I won't lie, I'm still winging some things. I pretty much paraphrased a whole presentation this week, which was assessed too. If you're in my class, you know which one. We did pretty well actually on the feedback. It's coming to spring break, and I'm grinding out essay plans like there's no tomorrow in preparation to spend two weeks, not on the beach, but in my room, attempting to get through thoughts onto paper. Okay, I'm editing the vlog now, and I just noticed where I said I'm grinding out essay plans like no tomorrow, not a lie. But when I said just to do two weeks not on the beach, I'm going to be sat in my room, actually I spent two weeks in work. And I actually had to use my lunch hours to write essays, so I didn't get much done to which I actually won the Class Procrastinator Award at our little awards night because I kept saying, I'm do like my Snapchats were, I'm doing work, I'm doing work, I'm doing work, I'm doing work at work. So I had planned all this stuff and then ended up doing five day weeks and the two days I had off, I, I needed to have free time. So, you know. It wasn't that great, those essay plans didn't come in handy over the half time because I didn't have time. Uh, that is another thing that made the rest of semester two difficult because I didn't time manage. Note for level five, manage your time better, Will. Back to the vlog. Wait, Shadow. Back to the vlog. I'm coping a lot better now because these strangers are now my friends and I know I can count on them for support. Our classes may be breaking up. Flat 16 may be moving to separate houses but we all know, 
if we need one another to escape, to cheer ourselves up, or just to chat, we'll be there to help. I'd like to thank everyone I've met this year. My year as a fresher would not have been the same without you. And I wouldn't change this year in any way. If you didn't know, to start this year, the blog wasn't best, wasn't, you know, well received with lecturers being called names, being, having, making jokes out of me. But this year, people always come up to me and say, keep going. If I felt down or if I worried about what I needed to put or if I needed to impress people, people always say, just do what you want to do. And it's those people who I, who I can't help but smile at when I see them or I, I talk to them on a night out or just around campus because they're the people who have encouraged me to continue. And this year has been so hard, so, so hard. I had a gap year. I worked for a year. And then I, this when I clicked in November, when I've been working for um, four months, is November. My friends had gone. They're doing what they want to do. Why aren't I doing what I want to do? And I, I left for university in September thinking, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing musical theatre. This is what I want to do. And I went into it with a completely wrong attitude. I thought it was going to be like college, and it was going to be, you know, I could just go through it, go with emotions. But it was a whole other level, and I, I, I... <laughs> if for some reason any of the 2016-17 freshers are watching, it's harder than you think. Don't do what I did. I'm going into level five now, and I think I know what I need to do now, to get it right this time. <laughs> you could not win university. <laughs> Everything else, yeah, sure. Of course, but this is, I know it's the right thing for me, because it's a challenge. It's a challenge to do what I want to do, and it's overcoming those challenges step by step that make me think, yes, this is the thing I want to do. And the people I meet, and the people I get to work with, and, and the people I talk to, all contribute to this feeling. So thank you to all of you watching this video, not watching this video, follow the blog, don't follow the blog, just anyone in my university who I have met, encountered, and interacted with. You have made my freshers year. And I'm so happy to have met all of you for different reasons. Thank you. But yeah. That was possibly the stupidest I didn't know what to say for a sign out, but I am going to say I'm looking pretty tan. This may not look tan while I edit it, but right now, looking in the camera, I look pretty tan. And I'm so happy because I don't tan. <laughs> Yay! Uh, see you on the flip side. Who uses that phrase? That just came out of my mouth. Bye!